everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome back to War Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Almost just called the Twilight Princess. Last episode, I got stuck here and I had no idea what to do. But now I just realized you have to call Epona here. And yeah, I, I, I know that. I know this is grass like 30 seconds after I stopped recording. Um, come on, Epona. Come on, little horsey. Yeah. So what's up, guys? This is my this is my second recording session, actually. Okay, jump the fence. Good, good opponent. I guess I should have taken that hint that I was supposed to grab opponent. Oh, nice five rupees there. That's gonna be helpful. It probably won't be actually. Actually, it will be since every rupee counts in the end. Find a rupee, pick it up, and all the days will have good luck. Right? Wait, can we go that way? Opponent, please move. Thank you. Oh no, she doesn't want to go. Okay. Yes, you do your fancy backflip. Hmm, what's this say? First temple path. It's pitch dark ahead! Party's interested in going forward, must go this way. Carl! Um, do I can't remember if we actually have to do this right now. Let's see. Whoa, an Ordorian! Hey, guy! Listen, I'm not sure why you should be wandering around just the woods with just a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean safe. There are a ton of caves and dark spots around here, and they get pretty dark even in the middle of the day. Here, here, go on, guy. Take this. You got the lantern! <coughs> ah, man, that burp was annoying me for a while. See, I sell a lantern oil here. I'm trying to get drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. So you're encouraging forest fires? What if I light your nest hair on fire, man? Go on, guy. Try this fire under a big pot. Um, sure, I guess. I mean, what can I lose? <laughs> Holy crap. That's right. See, it's on fire, guy. Yeah! You keep on that lantern anytime you need it. If you don't feel good, you can see me. Okay. So, we got a lantern. Ah, the lantern. The most useful item in the... Not really. It's okay. I don't really use it all that much. Ah, ah evil planet monster! Get out of my life! Thank you. Oh, you found a play wooden sword. It's Talos. Well, that's a bit creepy. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess that means the monkey kidnapped and raped Talo in this cave, which, that's not good at all. I mean, that's just weird. Oh, Talos. Ah, it's a bat! It's a bat! I didn't know bats grew that big and got stabby things on their tails. So hopefully you guys will be able to see this well and I won't have to play around with my um uh, with, uh, with my brightness settings too much because I don't like doing that very much. But I like I really do enjoy how you could have your sword out and your lantern at the same time in this game. I mean, oh oh uh, now take out your lantern. Good good boy, Link. Good boy. Good boy, Link. Good boy. Oh crap, I don't know which way to go. Rats! I don't give a rat's ass about what's going on here. These pots are pretty interesting because you can actually hit them! And one rupee, that's cheap for hitting a pot that's dangling in the air. No, I want to burn you. Bur what's with burning... I don't want to go that way yet. What's with burning webs in this game? Or not just... In, in games in general, you always have to burn webs. Like in Pitfall, we have to do that too. It's weird, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, okay, light that on fire and oh, look at the chest. See my chest. Oh wait, see my vest. See my vest made of real gorilla chest. We got a yellow ruby! Yay! Oh boy! Ah, uh, evil plant monster. Um, you can actually pick these up and throw them and get nuts out of them. You got seeds! 50. Use them with your slingshot! Yeah, so instead of having to ever restore ammo, all I have to do is kill like one of those plant monsters and you know, they'll basically refill your seeds. So basically, once again, buying like stock items in this game is pointless, just like in most other Zelda games. Zelda games. Which I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose of rupees a lot of times, in my opinion. This place is huge! Holy belognas! Um... This is where the first heart piece is in the game, however, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know where it is exactly. That's like, Holy crap! It's a purple Teletubby! It's a purple Teletubby! It's Mr. Purple. Okay, is he dead? Yeah, he is. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna wander around for a bit and, what? You just, that was a weird side. Uh, is it over here? Cause that'd be nice if it was. Nope, it is not, apparently. We can go up this nice tall mountain. Ah, uh, I feel like sneezing. Uh, I could have made that jump too, I bet, but I'd probably just slide off or something. If I go up here, 
I, yeah, I was just up there. I was just up there, man. Man. I, I, this feels like a really relaxed episode to me for some reason. Maybe it's because I just woke up a little while ago and it's 4.40 p.m. Ah, uh, rough night. What can I say? Ah, purple tail, Timmy! Get out of my life! Oh, crap. We're running out of lantern oil. Put that away, Link. Put that away, man. No, do, do I, no I don't want to go that way, man. Man. You got a blue rupee. Remember seeing that before? Yeah, that's right. We, we already know what a blue rupee is, but for some reason this game wants to tell us what a blue rupee is every time we turn it off. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> this game, it's one of the things that's it's infamous for is the fact that um, it, when you, whenever you turn off the game and turn it on again, it'll tell you, or uh, first time you get a blue rupee, you'll get that box pop up. It's, it's quite annoying and, it, and it's enough to make me want to punch a hole into this game. <sighs> So, um, I'm gonna look for the secret passage that leads to the heart piece, so I'll see you guys in a few seconds, I guess. Without a key, you cannot proceed! Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, it might even be in here, actually, in the northwest corner. Actually, it probably is, isn't it? Oh, uh, that's gonna be funny when I pass this, like, Two minutes to go. It is too. It's totally in here. God damn it! The purple top tummies get out of my face. Oh man. Oh, it is too. Uh, okay, you're gonna open this chest and you're gonna get a key. Oh, I, I, I spoiled it! I spoiled it! I spoiled it. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we're running, really running low on lantern oil. But yeah, you're gonna want to light those two torches and. Uh, Freaking chest appears out of nowhere, man, and I almost kicked my microphone out of its slot. And then the bad things would happen. You open the chest and you got a heart piece. Collect five pieces of form a new heart container. Increase your life energy. Energy. Can't you see my energy? Energy. Wow, the music, I never noticed that before, but the music continues on even when you're going through loading things. You know what I just noticed? I noticed this when starting up the game. This game is already five years old. It was made in 2006. I remember getting this game. Like, so clearly. It's crazy. Okay, we're just gonna go to the southeast, so, yeah, southeast corner. And here we are. Open sesame. Open says me, rather. And look, you can just push open those gates. It's so realistic. This game is so realistic. And we're gonna close the gate because I don't want to come back. I don't want to go back ever again. Ah, they can't. Oh, they keep pushing. Okay, where's my? Ah! Uh, yeah, you better give me my five rupees. Better give me my five rupees. I work hard for those five rupees, man. Hard for them. And we're in a new area. A whole new world. We're really like. Uh, making some advancements in the world. We're just in the forest killing some Teletubbies. Shouldn't they be making the sh like what, what was the purple one's name? Um There's Tiki Winky, there was Poe, there was what's this? Huh. Looks kind of tiki-ish and kind of weird. Uh Tinky Winky? Yeah, yeah, I think that was it. That was the big purple one, right? Tinky Winky? Get over here, Tinky Winky! Get uh, get over here! Get over here! I may be stabbing in the complete wrong direction, but that's okay, because you're Teletubby and you're Tinky Winky. Okay, Tinky Winky. What? Woo! Hey! Woo! You're super! Now just buy something! Hey! Oh, that was... I, he was kind of looking the wrong way, and... Yeah, so if you come in here... Welcome! Hey! Buy something! Anything! And you can get... Free Lantern Oil! Woo! You could... Yeah, you see, as you can see, it doesn't make you pay. But, um, if you come back here later without paying, the bird will attack you if you ever try to get anything else. Uh, I'll give him 20 rupees. Is that good? Thanks! Hey! Thanks so much! I don't know. I, I, I normally only give him, like, one rupee just because... Thank you! Hey! Thank you! Come back sometime! Hey! Um, bird's voices seem to change a lot for me. I'm not entirely sure. There's a big fluffy thing floating in this in, in front of my face right now. It's, it's kind of intimidating. Get out of my face! <laughs> Okay, okay, that's gone now. Um, <laughs> there's like a there's like a piece of dust, except there's a huge piece of dust. <gasps> Is that monkey rubbing its ass against tallow? I'm gonna leave you two with your private. Oh, I'm failure! Get out of my face! 
Oh my god, Feather, seriously? This feather is really making me angry. Really making me angry. Really making me angry. Okay. Okay. Why is there so many Tinky Winkies? What did you, get, what did you do with the other tail puppies, man? I swear to god. Oh, they're both dead. Nice. Is it nice? Can we spock? Can we spock to you? Help! Let me out of here! Please! Hey, then, come on! Please help me! Set me free! Rocks? Rocks? What are these rocks doing here? Hey, Lynn, come on, please help me fight! No, man! Boom, 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 boom! And there we go! And they do some kind of, like, uh, Azura dancing move, you know, when people, like, stand behind each other and then they do have multiple arms flailing out? That's what that was right there. Holy crap, we're running out of time. Hopefully I'll have enough time for this cutscene. If you had to come, Link, gee, me and that monkey would've probably gotten eaten, probably. Like, eaten eat each other? Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> she's actually a pretty nice gal. Okay, that's that's only farthering the evidence that there's there's some kind of creepy thing going on between you. Okay, that monkey, she tried to protect me, so we got captured together. Um, Link. Why, why is your voice a girl? You're not gonna mention this to my dad, are you? He always he's always telling me to never ever go into the forest because he says it's dangerous. See, so you can't really tell. Fluffy, get out of my face! Oh my, seriously, Link. Oh, I knew it was him. I knew it was Chocolate Mustache. My son told me Tal had disappeared into the woods and had not returned. I came as soon as I heard. But it looks like you have already brought him home already. I apologize. Such a task should not fall to you. Tell me, have you noticed how strange this wood seems lately? I feel un I feel uneasy about what may lie in wait. Anyway, Link. Tomorrow is finally the day. You will be departing for Hyrule. I think it's a good thing I have given this task to you. <laughs> Good luck, and return safely. If you're lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. <laughs> that never happens in a Zelda game. <laughs> never ever. <laughs> Lord on Ranch. Oh man, are we going to have to hurt the goats again? Goats! I think she's kind of spaced out. Space balls. Hey, Lyrian! Let's see if I get his voice right. I probably won't. It's it's not gonna happen, guys. Honestly, I'm never gonna get his voice right. Ever. Ever. Or anyone's voice right. So it's almost time for you to get going, huh, Link? So how about we finish up early today, bud? It's like midday. Like... Oh my god, there's no sun in Zelda. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. See, it's like, it's like dawn right now. Gotta get them chores on if y'all wanna get them goods bang in the bar and climb into a boat and on holla at me. Holla holla holla. Okay, um I guess we're gonna call an episode there, guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you next episode for some more of the Legends of the Twilight Princess. Woohoo! Thanks a lot for watching.